Hello friends and welcome to another video. This week I'm going to be trying out another questionable clothing item and this time it's a shirt. I didn't really intend this to be a series. I started off with the Tiva Ugg Hybrid, which some people thought were the ugliest shoes in the world. And then the Clear Knee Mom Jeans took the internet by storm and I tried those out as well. And then this shirt appeared. Shout out to Juliana from Facebook for showing this to me first. This shirt is from ASOS, it's $38 and it is a fictional band t-shirt covered with a giant ruffled sash. If that sounds confusing to you, you're not alone. This band t-shirt might be the worst one ever made. ASOS's band ruffle t-shirt is breaking the internet. Festival fashion at its weirdest. Deeply confused t-shirt combines shoulder tutu with possibly non-existent metal band. Unless you guys know of a band named H-N-T-J-L-Z. So there was one headline that was like, this is the worst t-shirt ever made. But mostly people are just confused. So I think we should try and make some sense of this thing. I'll bring the shirt out. Here it is, the ASOS Band Ruffle T-shirt. One of the reasons that people are confused by it is because they don't know what the name of the band is. Then it has a skeleton hand reaching out from what I can only assume is a tuft of grass holding a blue flower and the tagline is love from beyond the grave. And then we have the, the ruffle that everyone's talking about, the, the purple ruffle right across there. So I'm gonna wear this shirt all week and see if I can't try and understand this shirt a little bit more. Just what it wants from us, you know? What do you want? All right, let's put this thing on. Ooh. Did you just roll around in some tutus? I feel like Miss America, kind of. I lost, so they gave me this tutu. It's a little bit, is it Carmen Miranda? You know what I mean? It's got a little bit of like, I've got some bananas on my head kind of thing. The vibe I kind of get is it's like, you are playing little kid dress up. I definitely in my day, especially like late middle school, early high school, had graphic t-shirts that were like for something that didn't exist. The question is just like together, the cohesion. Where is it? I would actually love to know how many of these ASOS has sold. One. I can't. <laughs> I am feeling playful, feeling flouncy, and really excited to see what the week will bring. Maybe it could double as a cat toy. He just hates this. Okay, so it is day one of wearing the most confusing shirt. So day one, I wanted to wear it in a simple way, kind of get a feel for it. My instinct with this shirt is to cinch it at the waist or like tuck it into something, just cause it's quite voluminous. But the way they style it on the ASOS website is just as like a shirt with pants. So I've got a t-shirt on and pants on. The shirt is definitely more front and center than the pants or the shoes were. Just gets harder to ignore because it's closer to my face. It's closer to your eye line of sight. I'm not particularly embarrassed and nobody's really said anything. I'm just getting used to wearing a little tutu on myself. That's just how it feels. Like I feel like I'm just wearing a little extra something. Like a normal outfit with a little extra sauce. So the next night, Tyler and I went out for a little like date night. And she's all mine. I was trying to think like, what is this trying to say? What is the theme of this shirt? And to me, it's like excess. It's like a cherry on top. I tried to echo that in the shoes. They're kind of like sneaker boots with studded tongues and like little jingle jangles. It's like the rattle on a rattlesnake. I was like, I'm, I'm warning you that something's coming. The outfit's very loud, figuratively and literally. And I think that that's the point. Like you don't want to temper it. You want to really lean in. You got to embrace. You got to lean in. It's not necessarily an alluring shirt. It's not like a come hither date night type shirt, but it did feel better to be wearing it kind of in like a nighttime dinner time setting where I was like, oh, a reason to wear something a little more exciting. We chose tacos, which I love, but like, you know, not the least spillable food on the planet. The purple frill is definitely something that you need to be careful of when eating. Thankfully, I got out of dinner with my tutu unscathed, but I was definitely paying attention to where it was going. If it were a bib that you could like remove and wash. Yeah. Or you just be you, a subtle adult bib. You just, subtle. just dab it onto your face right I there. Know, seriously. Day three, I wore a mustard skater skirt and then high heeled boots. Okay, so we're at the mall and I am carrying around a very large bag full of stuff that I have to return. But I do feel a little bit like a spectacle just because I added the height 
I've got the flounce, I've got the bag, I've got the mustard skirt. There's just a lot going on. The shirt is bringing the heat. So you know, you wanna meet the shirt where it is, you don't wanna come up short. Your heels are so tall, you're almost like a giraffe. I'm a giraffe with a choo-choo. Look at me, it's me, look at me. The there. mustard color is also a little giraffish. I don't know, I was trying something. I don't know if it's working. That's how I feel this whole week. Like, I'm trying something and I don't know if it's working. I also realized that wearing this shirt for a week is different than wearing shoes or jeans for a week in that you you should wash it pretty often. You just turn it inside out, put it in cold water with light colors, then reshape it and lay flat to dry. So we're just gonna wash it like this. Throw in some leggings in there just to keep it company. You don't think you put it in there and just pray a new shirt comes out? I'm kind of worried for it. Did it survive? I know, I'm nervous. All right, hold on. Oh, looks pretty intact. It washes well. I actually do think, I think it, I think it's in fighting form. The ruffle is just as floofy as ever. That's for tomorrow, eh? I'm stroking it like it is crusty, like it's a cat. So on day four, I had a meeting at an office and I wore my shirt under a blazer. It wasn't necessarily the most business casual look ever, but I think the blazer helped, you know, it kind of covered all my bases. When I first thought of this idea, I was like, oh, I'm gonna look ridiculous. But it actually kind of works in my opinion. I, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's that the tool is mostly disguised by the blazer, but there's something about it that I kind of like. I kind of felt like a rocker like a rock star. You know, I felt like I had my band t-shirt, which was a little distressed, in my case, a little ruffled. Underneath my blazer, my skinny jeans and my combat boots. I was like, yeah, I'm here. Hopefully they're not too disturbed and just kick me out entirely. Okay, so update, I just got out of the meeting and I didn't get kicked out, but I did get a, hey, cool shirt. So who knows what that really means, but the words were, hey, cool shirt. Day five, I just went no makeup, shirt, skirt, and trusty Birkenstocks. So I'm just working today, so I tried to keep it kind of casual. Just because I felt like up until that point, I had been trying to dress it up. And I gotta be honest that I don't really think that my outfit is working today. Like, I think I look okay, but I don't think that it's really doing me any favors. This is my struggle trying to make a cup of tea right now. I can't figure out how to make hot water. It seems like such a like statement shirt, but it's like, oh, if you were just trying to be kind of like casual and natural today, why that shirt? So I don't think that this can function like a normal t-shirt. I think you do have to try and style this thing. I'm just gonna drink this cup of cold water as if this is what I want. And just leave. So day six rolls around and I haven't gotten a lot of outside opinions besides one cool shirt. So I wanted to get more input. So ASOS had presented this shirt under the She's With The Band Festival collection. So day six, we decided to go on a little road trip. Okay guys, we are in the car. We are headed to Coachella because if it's supposed to be for festivals and not for everyday wear, then why not go to a festival? Throw back to your fave music icons with vintage band tees, grunge-inspired plaid, and distressed denim for days. Now go out and party like a rock star. You sure look like one. We actually didn't have any plans to go to Coachella. In fact, we still don't have tickets, but we are gonna go to the outside of Coachella, like hopefully the entrance or maybe the parking lot, and see if anyone entering the festival would like to wear this shirt to something like Coachella. I'm excited that this is gonna be my first Coachella experience. I feel like I'm dressed to impress right now. I feel a little trendy. You look well dressed. Fluffy. We're here at the scenic day parking lot at Coachella. Honestly, I can't wait to see what people have to say. I'm a little giddy, a little butterflies in my stomach. I just put it with like a denim mini skirt and then I have these like Doc Martin boots that have flowers on them. At first, I wonder if it was maybe just me or if it was the shirt that was scaring people off. People didn't really want to talk to me at first. But you know, after a while, I got a few people who were willing to give me their honest opinions of the shirt. Jessica's here and she's gonna tell me what she thinks about the shirt and if it is festival wear or not. Um, it doesn't look like a shirt, it looks like a tutu. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not working for me. Yeah, no, I don't like it. <laughs> no. I feel like you grabbed a baby's tutu and just 
to just like put it over yourself. Personally, it's not my style. Yeah, I kind of I hate it. Wait. For the most part, the consensus was no. At a music festival, especially Coachella, from what I can tell, people really like put their best foot forward. They want to be fashionable. They like look at this shirt and they're like, that's not what I would choose. It could work on some people. Mm. Not me. There were a couple of people who actually did like it and said that they might want to wear it just because it was so unique. I can dig it. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Nobody else is wearing it. I think the more that I look at it, the more I like it. I like thought it was more. a skirt. Now, I think some of the articles that were originally confused about this shirt kind of gave it a pass when they saw that it was like in the festival section. That clears things up a little. The shirt would definitely fit in at Coachella or Burning Man, although it may look a little out of place at school or in the office. And I think that just calling it a festival look is kind of being like, oh, what a wacky shirt. Maybe someone at Coachella would wear it. No. no. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so the final day of the week arrived. So I wore my band ruffle t-shirt with my clear knee mom jeans and my Tiva Ugg hybrids featuring fishnets under my clear knee mom jeans because there was an overwhelming demand for fishnets. Here we are in the light of day. Uh, I made it outside. I actually, the more I look at this outfit, the more I like the shirt and the jeans together. Weirdly, weirdly, I like them. Though I don't hate the shoes in general, the shoes I don't think worked out in this, in this particular outfit. It's quite sunny today and it's probably like the worst temperature for all of these things to be on my body. Well, the most uncomfortable part as always are the plastic on the knees. I just basically like in a cartoon, like when you fall out of a window and you fall through someone's like laundry hanging outside and you're just like go through each clothing piece. That is a lot like what you're looking like. But I also feel like this is the beginning of like some kind of dance routine and all of my clothing is connected by snaps so I can like rip it all off in one motion and then be wearing like a really sexy like unitard. You want someone to be like, I don't like your outfit, and you go, yeah. I asked our friends Eric, Mark, and Cope to choose which item they thought was the worst. What do you think of this outfit? Oh, you're out. oh, oh, it's all together. The skirt and the shirt look completely separated. It looks like you just draped it over your shoulder. Where does my eye go? Uh, the tutu wrapped around your shoulder. <laughs> it looks like you were mauled by a ballerina. So when you see this outfit, your eye goes straight to the shirt as the worst thing. Yes. Ooh. I think people just think I'm having a bad fashion day. I don't think I'm mortally offending anyone. It feels kind of like a costume, kind of just confusing, but you know, things have been worse. I've had worse days. Oh, I didn't see you there. I missed the wall. I went like this and I hit nothing. Overall, this wasn't the worst week of my life. It's just a weird looking shirt after all. And I'll say that the shirt was not uncomfortable to wear, even if it's outwardly weird. Most of the articles said that it was deeply confusing, which I agree with. I think that it's a pretty confusing shirt. It is kind of fashion forward in that way, where it, it definitely evokes a reaction. It's also kind of youthful and playful. I think it definitely gives off that my five-year-old cousin dressed me chic. I think for me, the reason I don't wanna keep wearing this shirt is because I think it just takes over the outfit too much. I think with the other ugliest items, you could kind of make them do different things. And I think with this, you're just, you kind of, you got one thing to say. The only time when I felt like I was giving off a different vibe was when I had that blazer over it. It kind of gave like a little bit of a business in the back, party in the front vibe, you know, rather than just party all the way around, party all night long. All in all, I am kind of happy to have found a shirt to complete the first iteration of the ugliest outfit in the world. There will be more so-called ugly things worn on this channel. I've got a couple already in the mail, but I do think of the items that I've tried out so far, this shirt was just, it was a little more insistent than the other pieces. This shirt just has its own vision of, of life and you just, you kind of got to go with it or not wear it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I would love to hear your opinions about this shirt in the comments below. If you liked that video, make sure to smash that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to smash that subscribe button. And uh, if you've already smashed that subscribe button, make sure to smash that little bell icon to turn on post notifications so you get a notification every time that I post. Here are my social media handles and make sure to check out my next beat. I do a lot of daily blogging and Q and A's on there. A big shout out to Ella for watching. Thanks for watching, Ella. 
and I will see you guys uh, next time. Yes. Yes. Oh crap, I have to wear these.